Hi everyone, it is Thursday, July the 23rd. So as part of my little series on getting healthy, I wanted to talk uh, today about what is healthy to you. So for many people, um, this term healthy can have many different uh, connotations, many ideas. So for me, health is much more than simply the absence of diseases. So yesterday, I got you to think about what are the diseases, what are the health problems that you've had before? You know, what have you overcome so far in your life? Um, so we have to start thinking about what is health? Like, what does it mean? So for me, you know, health is not just not being on medications. You know, health to me is having a mind that is clear, that a mind that is, is, is able to focus and to think about my future. It's having a body that is strong, that is capable of doing my activities and being able to carry wood or split logs, whatever I need to do. Uh, and then for my body, I want my heart to feel good. I don't want chest pain. I want my bowels and bladder, everything to be working well. But also I want to have a sense of well-being. I want to live in a community with others that are feeling vibrant about life, that are excited about life. So to me, that is health. Now for some people, maybe you're thinking, what is health? Well, health is, you know, maybe not being on blood pressure medications. So is, is that something that's important to you? Or is health the ability to run around with your grandchildren and to play with your grandchildren? Or is health the ability to have a clear mind, to go to bed at night and to be able to sleep well and wake up soundly in the morning and start your new day knowing that you're going to begin it all over again? So what is health? Think about those diseases. So remember disease. Disease is dis-ease. Is your body feeling uncomfortable with where it's at? Honestly, I don't feel that just stopping your medications um, should be where you limit yourself in terms of your health. I think you need to take this a little step further. But the reason I bring it up and I say that what is health to you, um, the reason for that is that Many people never think of their goal. So you start something and you say, okay, well, I want to say, for example, blood pressure. I want to get off my blood pressure medications. But then you're going to be like, well, why do I want to do this? So what is my determining factor? So is it maybe it's a cost of the medication or is it the sign that a blood pressure pill is, is a disease in your body and you just want to feel better without it? Or is it because you know that high blood pressure can possibly lead to heart disease or stroke and you don't want to have those conditions to burden your family? So this is actually a tough question, okay? Um, I know this post is gonna be pretty short, but you really need to take some time and think about that. Um, because many people go through their lives and think, okay, well, I'm doing okay. You know, I'm good enough. Um, you know, I've got this under control. Um, my blood pressure, you know, I'm sleeping, but you know, I'm still using a sleeping pill at nighttime. My stomach's not too bad, but you know, I have to take that stomach medication every day. Is that really good enough for you? Is it? This is my challenge to you. Think about what's going on in your health right now. Is this really where you want to be? At your age, whether you're 20, you're 60, you're 80, you're 90, is this where you thought you would be right now in your life? We really have to take the bigger picture of health. You know, so many times I find in medicine, and our model, you know, the North American Western model, is find a disease and treat it. So we can identify high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's colitis, and we can fix those diseases with pills. But you know something, did we ever fix the underlying cause? So this is what you need to start thinking about is, where is my life right now? You've got the list of stuff in front of you. Remember, you have your little book that you wrote it all down. But what is it? What is the way that I want to feel? And don't stop. Think big. You know, if you are on medications, if you've had a heart attack or stroke, a lot of these things can be overcome. Uh, a good friend of mine shares his story with me quite often, how he overcame a stroke. Uh, he still walks with a cane, but his life completely changed because he took the stories that he learned when he had the stroke, he overcame that, and now his life is much more glorious than it ever was before. Because you know something, before he took his life for granted. And when we take our life for granted, we don't appreciate how health can be so important for us within our lives. So maybe that's another way to look at it, is I had these diseases, I had these illnesses, 
And what did I learn from these illnesses? Or what was my body maybe trying to teach me from these illnesses? Okay, a different way. So every day, sorry, so every day what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you step by step, okay, about what we can do. We're gonna look at specific diseases, uh, common medications, and I'm hoping that just through this little talk uh, that sometime there will be something that will click. Maybe one of these eyes, ideas that I talk about, maybe it makes sense to you. And this is what I'm going to be here to do for you over the next couple of weeks. I hope you have a great night and I talk to you soon.